Hello Darts Nuts, um, I'm going to do a review of this set of Red Dragon Peter Wright Snakebite PL15 Darts or Premier League 15 as it refers to um, I think this is the ninth Peter Wright model I think that's right, nine as we all know he has quite a lot of different uh, darts as obviously he likes to try new things uh, seems quite unusual for a player to have so many darts but obviously he knows what he's doing so he wouldn't be doing it if he didn't know and the thing is he seems to be able to throw anything so I guess it doesn't really matter with him what he does but this is the latest tart and as you can see it comes in the Red Dragon Trifold Wallet. You get three sets of flights. Very nice uh, snake bite flights. Especially like the uh, hologram ones. Yeah, really nice them. And a set of uh, Team Red Dragon flights. And you also get two sets of Red Dragon white alloy shafts and of course the barrels and the point protector. Uh, the darts retail for £26.90 they're a 90% tungsten. Um, they come in 24 and 26 grams so you get quite a, a decent amount there for your money. Three sets of flights, two sets of shafts and a set of very nice dart also the darts have got a, a rainbow style coating on the points and there's also a blue version of the darts, a blue PVD or blue titanium coated version which is £36.90 so it's a little bit more expensive but that's what you get with this version and inside you also get um, what is it? Guarantee card from Red Dragon. So let's have a close look at the darts. Okay, then here's the close look at the Peter Snakebite Wright PL15 darts. As you can see, the point has got a rainbow coating on it. It's a very nice point, actually. It's quite a sharp point. And the barrel itself is, is a pretty sharp kind of a bullet shape, shape it's got quite a, a long taper on the front half of the barrel and the rear half just tapers slightly towards the rear on the front of the barrel you've got some grooves one two three grooves gives you a little bit of uh, grip there if you want to hold the front of the barrel feels quite comfortable holding it there but it looks obviously that it's designed for a rear grip with this kind of a mini shark kind of a style on the rear um, that grip on the rear it's quite grippy actually I'd say it's probably almost a high medium well yeah, I would just say probably about a high level grip actually Um, on the back it's got the snake bite logo you've got your red dragon alloy, alloy shafts and your snake bite hardcore 150 micron flights it's a very nice looking flight standard shape it's, it does look a very nice dart not overly long um, I say normally I'm a front gripper but actually it feels like I might be able to get away with throwing it from the rear usually with a shorter barrel it's not so bad it tends to be harder with a longer barrel so I'll just let you have a look at the dart then I'll put the detailed picture up with all the measurements
right then here's the detailed picture here's the detailed look at the darts it's got a rainbow coated point of 27 millimeters the front half of the barrel is got quite a, a long taper and it's made up of these smooth bands which are wide with quite wide grooves in between the first section is 7.1 millimeters and then there's a groove of 1.2 millimeters and then the next three bands are 3.6 millimeters wide with the same width grooves in between of 1.2 millimeters at the rear of the barrel you've got this mini shark style grip which is 13.7 millimeters wide and then there's another smooth section at the very rear which tapers towards the shaft with the snake logo and that's 7.7 millimeters wide the overall length is 43.3 millimeters and the width is 7.9 millimeters all right then let's take some measurements it's not a very uh, long barrel uh, the barrel length is 43.43 just do that again Yes, yeah, so 43.4 millimeters, and it looks like it might be fast around that band before the shark grip. That says 7.87, that says 7.5. I'll just double check that one again. Yeah, so it's about 7.8 on the fattest and this front section measure it right on the front taper is quite narrow 5.5 and then it tapers a little bit on the rear 6.5 all right then let's wear the morals That's 24.23. That's 24.3 grams. And that's 24.24. And the weight of the full setup as supplied is 26.78. Alright, let's see if I can find the balance. It's probably going to be around that middle. It's quite a strange shape, really, to judge. Uh, let's see. That is probably it, so it's pretty close to the middle. And with the supplied setup, it's probably going to move more into the grip on the rear. Yep. So, with the supplied setup, it moves onto the rear grip. Alright, that's the uh, detailed look at the darts. I do think they look really nice with the uh, supplied uh, stems and flights. I think those rainbow points set the darts off nicely. It's a very nice looking shape as well. So, Let's give them a throw and see how they go. I'm just holding the dart probably just before that uh, like mini shark style grip and more or less on this 
uh, last band at the front half of the barrel. Um, I'm probably going to give it a go there in a minute but holding it there it's not too bad. I, I think the dart is fairly well balanced there for my grip. Holding it right at the front like I might do in most barrels is probably not as well balanced but round about there it's not too bad. Um, the grip there is okay. I can feel this edge of the uh, grooves here so there's still a fair bit to grip onto there but obviously that is where the main grip is but uh, let's have a few more throws holding it there and then I'll, I'll try throwing it from that section on the rear. Uh, I'll just have a go thrown from the rear now. Um, shouldn't be as bad as it is with longer darts because this is quite a short barrel. So um, usually when the longer barrel, when I try throwing from the rear, it feels really strange and weird. But uh, it doesn't feel too bad with a shorter barrel. So I'll give it a go. See how it feels. I think the dart does feel much better balanced thrown from the rear. It's uh, pretty well balanced holding it there with my previous grip but it just feels even sweeter holding it on the rear. Obviously it must be geared for a rear grip. from the rear. Yeah, I think it's definitely a nice start if you're a rear gripper. It just seems to be nicely balanced there. Like I say, it's not my natural grip, so it does feel weird, but uh, I can see if you're a proper rear gripper then you're probably going to like the uh, the way it flies and also the way it feels in your grip to throw. Uh, I'll just go back to my normal grip now. It feels uh, pretty good that to throw even from that grip. It does feel a, a very nicely balanced out overall but I do think uh, it feels just that little bit better holding it on that grip section also. It, it's a very nice grip that as well. Like a mini shark grip.
Oh, there you go. It's the Red Dragon Peter Wright PL 2015 darts. Very uh, nice dart to throw. I do think uh, Ray Grippers will like these because it does. It just feels very nicely balanced holding it there, but uh, I quite enjoy throwing it from me front style grip. But uh, obviously, if you need more grip, then it's on the rear. And it just seems to fly very nice through the air. It's a very nicely balanced from that grip though. So there you go, that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.